you know, all I'm going to say is this. We come here, we run hard, Charles. I run everybody clean. Kyle Dudley is the ringleader up here, man. He's a trophy boy. We outrunning him. He passed me on the outside. Right there. How can I cut down on him? But then, on that restart, he's mad. He takes me off down here in the corner over 100 mile an hour off the ground. I mean, he could have killed all of us down there. But I got news for him. I'm from Collinsville, Virginia. I'm the biggest damn redneck when it comes to having to get down to it. And they messing with the wrong one right here. I'm not taking no more none of them people up there. I don't care who Kyle Dudley is. And you can quote me on that. The boots right there. He's going to make a move in the inside and spins Dudley. We got a big wreck on the back. Last week's late model clash between number 84 Kyle Dudley and number 98 Nathan Wheat is still part of the discussion this week at Buck Wild. Owner promoter Whitey Taylor had a private meeting with Nathan Wheat. No, it went down on purpose. Uh, Dudley, he rubbed his air several times down the back stretch. I uh, let him go several times. I uh, could have spun him several times there and uh, let him go. Got into us coming off a of two right there and wasn't nowhere for us to go. Come across his hood and had two tore up race cars. But Arlie said that, that uh, he told you to take him out. That's what he said, not me. Arlie never come across the radio and told me to take him out. I, I know he's had enough of beating and banging on his car, but enough's enough. Here's what really convicts you, okay, more than anything else, is when you got out of the car, you said that you were here, not Kelly now, and you're not taking anything. You're, pretty much, you said you're given. Hey, that's what he gets. One week last week, wrecked us to his door tonight. That's what he gets. Fix your car. Thought Kelly was bad. The weed is here, baby. Get some. He don't know what the weed man is. Yeah, he thinks he's the best out here. He yeah, you do feel like that uh, when you take and uh, you get a lot of action like that. You know what I'm saying? You get you come back in the pits right there, and you got all these young boys that ready to fight and everything. Uh, I, I'm not going to take that stuff. If they if they want to fight, let's fight. You know what I'm saying? Enough's enough. After tearing up over four cars, Whitey decided to ban Wheat for a while. Kyle Dudley is glad to see Wheat's gone for a while. It needs to be done, man. He raced at the field and he can say I come down all at once. I've got the video. I saw it. He turned straight up into me. I mean, it's obvious, but uh, it's a good thing he's gone. That's all I got to say. Meanwhile, Wheat's team is still angry with Whitey. You don't think I should? No. Why? Because you're telling people to wreck people. Show me on the film where I said it, Nathan Whitey. No, you said you was going to do it again. It was a lot, It was on his t TV show. He show me where he said it. I think he don't have it with him, Arlie. Well, That's last week. He needs deal. to bring it to him and show me because we I was ain't on be made out of a liar. Was, you said we'll get it, get you again. You were talking to Kyle. You wasn't talking to me. When did I talk to Kyle over? Last week. You, you better get somebody's glasses and, and he look said, for him. He came down and here's what he said. He said, I could have dumped you any time. could have dumped you any time. I could have dumped you right here. We was up to the door this time, and we stayed there. That's why we ended up. We had room. There was room for two cars. It, it, it could have been. Hey, look, you, you and Nathan's on one can drive. Okay? I ain't any car. They ain't any car. It was tight race. It ain't no need to come. That's what I'm talking I ain't having. I'm just telling you. Racing, racing. If they wouldn't have got out and started. Any problem? Like I said, you, you know, I mean, I could have dumped you five times. Yeah, because I was holding off of Bobby. Huh? I could have dumped Bobby five times, but I ain't gonna race him that way. Right. But you never got beside Bobby. We was under you here and over here. I know you can't try. Nah, uh, it ain't no use arguing, y'all. Y'all from Floyd. Y'all need to go back. Uh, no, no. Uh, you know what that tells me? Is that you guys are telling them? What did you say in the driver's meeting three you weeks ago? Tell, said no, no, no. one time, well, two times, three times, I dump him and get him out of the way. Time, but we right. didn't do it. No, no, no. I know, but that means that you have been doing it. That's what it means to me. Not to me, but okay. Nah. I didn't come here to wreck nobody. No, but we got here to get wrecked. They can't, they can't take, can't take, uh, stand up and take the blame for it. We was under him up to the door, and he come down, and we wrecked, and then everybody got into it, and Whitey's taking it all out on us, and he wants Kyle to win the points. So go ahead and give it to him, and let everybody else race. Because he's running points here, here and you River both Motor Mile, and he's done pimp pit on probation at Motor Mile for wrecking people. So you go figure. 
And number 10, Kevin Parker sees it in a whole different way. I seen it different. I had the bird's eye view. I was running third right there with the guys. And uh, that turn two over there is just so narrow when you come off of it. Everybody just narrowed up, racing hard. Uh, those guys, everybody wants to win here. You know, it's buck wild. Uh, I know there's a lot of feuding going on right now, and it's a whole lot of money getting tore up. Um, it's nonsense. But that deal over there, we were just racing hard, and we just got together. And that's the way I seen it from the third place seat. It happened so quick, you know, it's just hard racing. The hole closed up and it won't know where to go. It was just, it was just a melee. And I run Nathan and um, me and Nathan the last two or three weeks up here. We've run door to door, nine, ten laps at sometimes, and uh, you know who you can race with and who you can't. It's just, you know, it's, it's just nonsense tearing up good race cars, you know. And but Nathan should be here tonight if you ask me. Coming up next, Parker turns on Dudley. I run everybody clean. Kyle Dudley is a ringleader up here, man. He's a trophy boy. We outrunning him, he passing me on the outside. Right there, how can I cut down on him? But then, on that restart, he's mad. He takes me off down here in the corner over 100 mile an hour off the ground. I mean, he could have killed all of us down there. But I got news for him, I'm from Collinsville, Virginia. I'm the biggest damn redneck when it comes to having to get down to it and they messing with the wrong one right here. I'm not taking no more none of them people up there. I don't care who Kyle Dudley is. And you can quote me on that. The boost right there.